what's going on guys it's Nero Soul to bring you a whole new video and today is episode 2 of digging for diamonds the minecraft survival series I am uh, outside my little farm actually let me just uh, suit up so the first thing we're going to do in this episode is we are actually going to go through to the nether we're going to meet up with uh, a few of our other players and then we're going to go to the nether and get some uh, in the brick and stuff so i hope you guys are going to enjoy it uh don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoy these videos and uh meet you there Ooh, i spawned right next to the fortress why am i dying um maybe the wither poppies or whatever it is oh the, hey you spawned in my portal uh, oh, oh did I um, hit <laughs> Did I hear a, a <laughs> penguin? A penguin? I don't even know I did that. I think so. I think I'm um, my <laughs> Enjoy. They are very unhappy with me. Oh no, this is not gonna end well. This is definitely yeah, gonna end gonna well. Watch. Oh. Why are you gonna watch? Oh, you can't do anything. Oh no, this is yep. not gonna end well. I suggest not going too far that oh. way, cause um, there are a couple more. I need to take out my cobblestone and build up so that uh, I can stand there long enough so they don't fight me. There yeah. are a lot of zombie pigmen here. I think if you go into the this place here, they may get mad. No, I don't think that's the case. Oh, where's my cobblestone? Okay. Oh, they're still mad. Let's just go up here. Like the main the main reason I wanted to come to the Nether here is to get some quartz. Yeah, I also wanted to get some quartz. Uh, I need to eat up because uh, yeah, I'm not happy with me. I think more Ritz has already been here. Maybe the the Nether fortress is looted. There's no loot there. Yeah, and it must have been here. Oh, beat us to it. Okay, let's see if these guys are still upset with me. So sorry, Pigman. So sorry. I love you. Yeah, let's have a hug. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I do hear a lovely gas flying around. Yeah, like sounds like it on top. It's like it sounds like it's on top of me. Yeah, it probably is. Ooh, the server Actually is not. straining quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know why, there's only two of us on. I want to find a blaze spawner, I want to make a blaze farm. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! I'm gonna lose all the stuff! Why? <laughs> Sit in lava. I forgot how, I forgot how fast it's, uh, it uh, moves in the nether. And you stand on fire. Oh, there's a blaze! I'm definitely gonna die, it's my first death. There we go. Uh, if you tell me where you are, I can go get your stuff for you if you want. That's fine, I'll go get it now. Okay. Yep, find all my stuff. Flash. <laughs> okay, this is about to die. First place kill. <laughs> I feel bad. Again. I feel bad for Rain because it's gonna take him such a long time to catch up to everyone. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you're not online a lot. Yeah. That's fine, he'll catch up in time, I think. Hey guys, Future Nero here. Uh the footage that I took, I'm actually gonna make it into a time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It uh, was an hour worth of nether quartz farming. Uh so let's jump into it.
was uh, an adventure and a half. Just came back from the nether. Um, that's the resources we got. I died, which is uh, my first death on the server, which is an interesting uh, thing that happened. Uh, <coughs> came back to my chicken breeder. Got a lot more eggs, which is really cool. There's a portal I will be breaking and moving it a little bit later, just so that uh, we have two separate portals when going to the nether. Uh, we do have a uh, lot of sugar, sugar cane. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of bamboo growing here, and uh, a lot of uh, pumpkins and melons are also growing, so that's pretty cool. Let's uh, harvest this and do some other things. Berries. Cool. Thank you. I'm going to my berry farm now. Nice chicken farm. <laughs> I am going into my redstone testing world to go test on a few things because I don't think this is going to be efficient. So the original plan nice. was to uh, take the eggs that spawn from there and throw them in here. Chickens will grow. Uh, then I kill the chickens from the side here, just like bashing them, you know. <laughs> um, and then I press a button but I don't have a button made so I'm just going to do that I have an um, idea why don't you use the entity cramming thing so it has a yeah. hopper feeding into a um, dispenser so all the eggs go into the dispenser and shoot out and make the chickens and then the entity cramming kills the all all chickens and then it makes them drop the chicken and it goes yeah, so on. yeah that was that's yeah, what that, I was going to say it will work it will definitely work so I'm going to try and do some no, my pickaxe broke. <laughs> I need to turn your volume down. Yeah, I'm also going to turn his volume down. But anyway, thanks for uh, stopping by and giving me some berries. I'm going to go into my redstone testing world now. So after hours and hours of testing my design, uh, what I came up with, I've given up and I built something else. But before we go over there, uh, let me just show you how my design would have worked. So first of all, there uh, is a dropper, or oh, sorry, a dispenser with a clock on it that whenever you put in eggs, it spawns a chicken. Alright. And then after a while, what would happen is the chickens would grow, then you have to manually press a button. Alright. And as soon as your button activates, all the chickens will... or the chicken... <laughs> all the chicken will uh, come through and fall down into this little hopper over here. Well sort of and <laughs> you would actually have to go and uh stand here with a sword and kill them so that's my design and i gave up on that design really quickly uh because it just takes too long to work out the logistics um but thanks to eczema eczema void sorry if i butchered that name uh this is uh really good design so what what happens is the chickens are at top I'm just gonna move the sound a little bit uh, chickens are at the top uh, they spawn the eggs obviously eggs go straight through into a dispenser where it also has a comparator clock on it um, which then spawns the chickens in the half slab and so basically when the chickens grow they'll burn and die and obviously everything will go into there um, as you can see the chickens are obviously on carpets and it's just uh, a really nice way of having cooked chicken immediately um, so yeah let's jump onto digging for diamond server and let's go build it now that we are on the <laughs> the digging for diamond server I'm gonna actually remove all of this so my design was obviously not gonna work here it's too too labor intensive first of all <laughs> and then also it would use too much resources to do a very simple task so i think i have uh, found the perfect place to put this uh, chicken farm i'm gonna put it right here it's gonna go into the mountain or the little hill sorry and uh, then we're gonna put the chickens up and it's gonna automate so let's uh, get gather all the resources and make sure this uh, area is all cleared up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Finally done, which is so awesome. But uh, we've got to wait for these little chickens to grow before that can make it start working. Uh, right now, I'm gonna be finishing up with the terraforming around the sides, just so it blends in a little bit nicer. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our episode today. <laughs> just notice the XC jets in the background. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, then hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see anything in the Digging for Diamonds Minecraft series, comment down below. And uh, otherwise, yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Nero, out.